let me explain to you about archetypes. The name archetypes has been around since the days of Plato and it's well used in many different forms and cultures. There are four main archetypes that I want to describe to you because every single one of us has these four main archetypes. You, me, your parents, we all have them. The first archetype that arises is called the child. The fact that you have a body, the child archetype arises. There are variations to the child. There's something called the wounded child. There's also something called the pure eternus, which is the Peter Pan syndrome of the child who doesn't want to grow up. The classic of that would have been Michael Jackson. His childhood was taken away from him because he was made to entertain at an early age. The next archetype that arises is the victim. The victim is that part within us that goes, this isn't fair, you're to blame, it's your fault, you fix it. Who knows when the victim arises? It could have been the first time you couldn't find a dummy, the first time you lost your teddy bear, maybe when you lost your mum in a supermarket. But it is that part that says, I'm not safe, I'm not happy, you please fix it for me. There are some adults that never get past that and continue with that energy all of their life. They blame their parents or the school system or the government or anyone else that's around them, their partner, and they stay the victim. The next archetype that arises is called the prostitute. That's a funny name. Uh, people sometimes get confused about that term. But the prostitute actually means, what am I doing to sell myself short? What am I doing to put myself out of my integrity? Let me explain that one a little bit more. As a child, you have to take on roles to feel safe. As I mentioned earlier, the good girl and the good boy are the classic roles that we take on board. However, if you hit your 50s and 60s and you're still playing out the good girl or the good boy, then you actually haven't really grown up. So the prostitute asks, as I said, what are you doing to sell yourself short? Typically, how the prostitute plays out is women staying in relationships that no longer serve them, but for the sake of staying safe, what will other people think, the kudos, the finances, they stay in a relationship that isn't very good, but they stay there for the sake of what it will give them. Typically for a man, it's staying in a job that no longer serves them. But again, for the sake of kudos, finances, reputation, what will other people think, they stay in a job they hate. I can only tell you after 17,000 plus readings, I see the prostitute as quite dangerous because I see it leading to long-term illnesses. The last archetype that we all share is the saboteur. The saboteur arises every time you go to make change in your life. It does its job by saying, are you sure? What if you stuff up? What if you make a fool of yourself? What's it going to cost you? So the saboteur's job is to challenge you, but we don't like being challenged. So when it is challenging you, it's actually doing its job. So the four main archetypes of child, victim, prostitute and saboteur are a given for everyone on the planet. They come and go with regular monotony and they'll play out in different ways in your life. The other eight archetypes are peculiar to just you.